Earlier in the week, we had a discussion with Honorable Kabiru Usman Rurum on his motion sponsored on the floor of the House on the brutal killing of DSP Abdukadi Abubakarano by bandits at Jibia and the need for urgent investigation to advert similar national tragedy. Also, we discussed national politics, forthcoming 2023 general election, and the chances of APC winning the election. The CPO has recorded numerous achievements in ensuring peace, order, and security within his division by spearheading collective fight against the bandits, kidnappers, and the other criminals in the local government area in Katana State. What is that the killing of DSP Reno had occurred at a time the Nigerian police and the, indeed the entire country needed him most, given his unparalleled commitment in fighting crimes at the GBA edges and the embarrass. The staff that, beyond the commendable condolences and the monetary donations extended to the family of the deceased by Katana and Kano State government, there was nothing done to establish serious investigation into the remote and immediate cause of the brutal killing of this young man by concerned authorities. <laughs> Regret that the killing of a veteran police like DSP Abubakar Rano forces a challenge against appropriate security and intelligence agencies to penalize the culprit and most significantly with allow the outcome of such investigation to about future related eventualities. Resolve to add the House to one, pass a resolution to condemn the killing of DSP Abubakar Rano in national service and all other Nigerians who suffered similar predicaments. Direct the police and DSS authorities to intensify investigation on the causes of such killings and identify the culprits and initiate appropriate measures to bring them to book. I appeal to Nigerian police to support and assist the family of the deceased. Five, the House should send a delegation to condole the family of the deceased, to observe a minute silence in honor of the deceased, and lastly, direct the Committee on Police, National Security and Intelligence, and Legislative Compliance to facilitate compliance with the House resolution. I so move. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And those in favor, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. Ayes have it. The motion you move recently um, concerning the DSP killings. What is your motive behind the motion? The first and foremost, it is unfortunate that we lost a vibrant uh, young man who happens to be from my local government and uh, somebody who is a very dedicated and a true Nigerian. He works in GBA local government in Kaduna State as a divisional police officer. And the guy wanted to rescue a woman that was kidnapped. Unfortunately, he lost his life during the accident of fire. But luckily enough, the woman was rescued. So it is a matter of uh, urgency for, for me to move the motion in the floor of the house to ask the police authority to assist the family of the deceased and for the entire nation to know what happened and to pray for the, uh, for the soul of the deceased. And secondly, for the police, the DSS, to ensure they put an inquiry to identify the culprit and brought them to book. And I uh, add the house to delegate a delegation to go and condole with the family and uh, to observe a minute's silence for the brief, which all the uh, prayers has been answered by the house. Under uh, my jurisdiction, we have military pension board. Uh, we have uh, Nigerian uh, National Intelligence Agency. We have uh, the DSS. Almost all the pension industry in Nigeria they are under this my committee, and the, our work is to provide and ensure they did the right thing, ensure they pay our retirees our elderly that have worked diligently for this nation before uh, they retire. And when they retire, they need to be paid as a Tuenju. So, and uh, we ensure that uh, they were taken care of. And uh, in all the time, we, if there is any problem with any pensioner, once we receive a complaint, we immediately uh, invite whoever is in charge and ensure 
we acted accordingly so that the Nigerian pensioners will be benefiting from what the government of the day is trying to do by paying the pensioners as a twenty. We received complaint on daily basis and we acted immediately. And uh, if the issue is under Peter Dati's uh, pension transition arrangement directory, it's been headed by the other two secretary, uh, Nena Ejikeme, we call the attention of whoever is in charge and ensure we resolve any problem that a pensioner has. So on daily basis, uh, monthly basis, we receive a number of complaints, but luckily enough, Nigerian pensioners, most especially who are under the federal government scheme, uh, the complaint is not as much as that we used to have before. If you look, the military pensioners, the DSS, the police, they are all being paid as at Wenju, and we have less complaint on that area. Most of the time, it is the issue of uh, maybe time printing that you can have one problem or the other, but immediately a person reported with strong interaction and the insurer. We assisted, and uh, he is going to be paid promptly. Okay, sir. Um, recently, you moved a motion concerning the killing of the DSP. What is the motive behind this? I think before that, we have a very important issue that is coming up on the 22 in this my committee on pension. Okay. We have a number of bills that we are referred to this committee, and we have announced. 22nd on this month being the day of uh, public hearing, where I am urging Nigerians, most especially the pensioners and all other stakeholders, Nigerian Labour Congress and other stakeholders in the industry to ensure they fully participate because we have a, a number of uh, amendments, most especially the police uh, retirees issue. And, uh, there is a bill before us where the police uh, wanted to exist from the pension scheme. So the day is going to be a very dedicated day, and we are urging Nigerians to pass the police so that we collect the views and expression of Nigerians on what is going to be done on the issue of the police pension. Okay. Um, 2022 election is hitting hard and forthcoming. Do you see your party retaining power or losing power over the opposition? APC is winning the election again, inshallah, because we have all what it takes. Even though in a political era, when there is a transition, there is a lot of uh, maneuvering that is, can come up. But at the end of it, APC is going to emerge victorious again, inshallah, in the 2023 election. We have done our best, and I believe the Nigerians, uh, hopefully, they are going to uh, vote for APC again. Um, insecurity challenge you have as a nation. What can you, as a lawmaker, say concerning it? It is unfortunate and uh, very disheartening what is happening in this nation in the security uh, issue because almost all part of the country is having a security challenge or the other, even though it's not only peculiar to Nigeria, but we are worst uh, hard now because the issue where people have been killed, where houses have been destroyed, is something that we need to uh, put all our, index, uh, on ha our hand on deck. Uh, in the House of Representatives and the Senate, we have more than 100 uh, motions and even bills to ensure we assist the security agencies so that we can bring an end to what is happening in the security challenges in the entire nation. And luckily enough, now the security agencies are doing their possible best, even though their best is not enough, but we are still urging them to do more to ensure the security of life of every Nigerian anywhere he lives and anywhere he resides. And the issue of security is not only Gamma and security agencies, even people at home, the rural community, the people in the city, everybody, all have must be on, on deck to ensure the security agencies succeeded in whatever is happening in a particular place or area. Yes, sir, um, we look forward and we hope you are coming back for another turn of. So, what do you intend for your constituency on your return? Uh, possibly the issue of return or not return, everything in, in the hand of God. And you know, as we are now preparing for the next election, 
there's a number of things before me, whether to come back to the house, whether to look for another office again. So I can rightly not say what is going to happen for now. But what I'm only praying is for God to show the best for me and my constituent and the nation at large. Thank you.